Today I got an Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. Uh, it won't boot. I'm going to fix it. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got an Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. The exact model is AN515-53-52F. A. Uh, as you can see it don't boot. I have confirmed already it's got a bad hard drive. This model is about a couple years old. It's got an 8th gen Core i5-8300H processor. It has the GeForce GTX 1050 graphics and, and a backlit keyboard. Kind of an entry level gaming top and a couple years ago when they were selling these they weren't putting SSDs in them. This one's just got a one terabyte mechanical hard drive. I've already taken the drive out, tested it is indeed bad so I'm going to replace that with a brand new Western Digital Black. Been selling a ton of these lately, actually. Um, Western Digital Black SN SN750 NVMe SSD. There should be a slot inside for us to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and shut this off because I know the hard drive's bad. I'm just going to show you how to do it all. So bear with me here. It's off. I've already removed all the screws. <clears throat> I believe I have and they're all the same length so it's not really important they go back in the same hole sometimes they're different lengths but in this case they're not so I'm going to remove this panel here this is where our bad hard drive is and over here is where our RAM is so I'm going to replace that like I said with the Western Digital um, at the same time though I'm going to they have 8 gigs of RAM I'm, I, I'm going to put another 8 gigs of DDR4 to get them up to 16 so it'll be a nice upgrade all across the board with new solid state drive and more RAM. So let me get this bad hard drive out of here. Four screws holding the, or actually, yeah, four screws holding this little caddy in here. Big deal. Guys, when you're working on a project like this, always protect yourself against static discharge. Wear an ESD wristband or, or ESD mat of some sort. Just anything so you're anti-static. Very important. And use good quality tools so you're not booking or messing up your screws and whatnot. So I'm just gonna pop this out of here. It unplugs from this little harness here. They don't give you a lot of slack, so you gotta be careful. Don't wanna just be tugging it out like that. You might damage the cable going to the motherboard. So we're gonna get that out of the way. And I'm gonna take my plastic triangle spudger tool here to get the bottom pan off. Uh, make sure all the screws are out. Yes. Uh, these aren't too bad to get started. Usually on a corner right here. Good spot to start. It. Oh, there we had it. That's what we want here. So now that you got it started, I'm just going to come out here to the edge. <clears throat> and that clicking is totally normal. It's just breaking it free. <clears throat> but always be careful and take your time especially like around where these ports and stuff are you don't want to break the plastic chassis there and usually on the back is where it's, you're going to have any problems that's where it's going to be or any difficulties so to speak but you can see here oh yeah yeah this one i forgot to i forgot to point that out when it came in it's got a crack across here. there's like a little chip in it right here like i don't know if it got dropped or hit but that was like that and i actually noticed that and pointed it out so to the customer so i got to be careful over on that side there i'm going to try to work from this side i forgot about that but that is cracked there i don't know how but i think it got dropped or hit or something I just want to get this corner started back here. Get my other tool in here. There we go. Now along the back here, there's this seam right here where the red meets the plastic. If I can get my spudger tool in there, I'm going to try to do it, holding it up so you can see it. I had it in, I had it in there, but I'm not can't get a hold of it. Ah, 
Oh, I gotta lay it down, guys. Sorry. I'm squeezing it too hard. <clears throat> you can see it. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Didn't think it come off quite that easy. But I'm over here where our crack is. I gotta be careful. I wanna make it worse. There we go. Alright, so I did get it off. Yeah, not much you can do about that crack in there. So anyway, and I am gonna pause here in just a second, so I gotta clean those fans out. You can see how dirty those cooling pans are there. They're very, very crusty. So I'm gonna get that cleaned out really good real quick. That'll only take a second. So like I was saying, guys, here's our M.2 slot where I'm gonna put my new Western Digital Black drive over here. Um, and before I get in and do stuff, I'm gonna disconnect the battery. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now before I even clean it. I'm gonna go down here and this just simply slides back off the motherboard. I'm gonna use a plastic tool. Again, just don't touch stuff you don't really need to touch. So there's that. As an added precaution, I always like to open them up carefully. And I'm gonna hit the power button a few times to discharge any residual like electrical stuff in there. Juice. All right, that should be good. So I'm going to pause here for a second. I'm going to go in the back, and you can watch me blast all that crud out of there, okay? So let's go do that. All right, guys, I'm gonna, you're going to see all the crud that's going to come out of these fans here. I'm just doing this outside. You don't, oh uh, yeah, I'll finish this first. Now if you're doing this yourself, you don't want to use too much air pressure. You want to be careful where you blow. Um, blow your air at. <laughs> That should, that should be good. Let me open this up real quick, guys. Yeah, that tends to be on the screen, Yeah, that's good. All right, I got blew all that crud out of the fans there, guys, so that's better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my 8 gigs of stick, or 8 gigs of memory in the slot here. So we'll have 16 when all is said and done. Make sure you get a good clip there and that those go in. You don't want it popping out after you put the cover back on. And I'm gonna take my NVMe drive. Got to re they even gave us a mounting screw right here, so I'm gonna take that out. Mount the brand new Western Digital Black. This thing is gonna be a whole new computer for him with an SSD over that clunky old hard drive that it came with. They just weren't doing SSDs much back then couple years ago. I mean they were but it was kind of like a premium thing to have. So there now we got a one terabyte there. We got our extra memory. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and yeah just want to make sure I have that. Got to plug my battery back in and once you plug your battery back in guys make sure you don't touch stuff. If you can help it. We got power flowing through it now in some places. All right, so I'm going to put the cover back on. We're going to do a clean install of Windows 10 on this. Press clean install. Get all the updates. Go to Acer's website. Get the NitroSense software. Things like that. Get it all updated. It should run good. I'm not going to put all the screws back in, though, <coughs> until I know we're good. So I think the battery has a full charge on it. All right, I'm going to use a Windows 10 media insta installation USB drive. You can create these for free by downloading the Windows 10 media creation tool. I have a link down below. I have a video on how to make one of these. It's totally free. And yes, it will activate. The digital license is already with the computer. People ask me that. What about activation? There's no product keys involved on these type of computers. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. It should default to that drive. But on these Acer's, if it doesn't, it's going to read the memory. It'll take a minute. 
F12 will get you the boot menu, menu if it's enabled in the BIOS, which is F2 to get into your BIOS. You can turn that on. Well, once it reads the memory there, it should get us to where we need to be. You just got to be patient. So I always tell myself, there it goes, no bootable doy. So that's fine. I'm going to go control alt delete here. I'm going to go to F2 and get into my BIOS real quick. I'm going to go over to main. Okay, it is enabled, the F12 boot menu. It says it's enabled, so now we can hit F12 to hopefully get to our flash drive. I'm going to exit saving changes. Start tapping your F12 key. Come on. Oh, no. Well, you know what? I'm going to do a different USB port. Maybe I don't like that one. Let's go over here. That was a 3.0 port. That could be the issue. I'm not sure. There's always a glitch. There, there's our flash drive. I had a USB 3.0 port. I put it in a regular USB. Now it's showing up, so I'm going to boot off of that. Seen that many times before. Very common for that to happen. So we're going to boot off the flash drive. I'm going to do a clean install of Windows 10. Like I said, get all the updates, the drivers, the Acer stuff, and we'll have a hopefully a nice little upgrade here. Hey, as soon as it starts to boot, there it goes. All good. And we're not putting the mechanical hard drive back in it. Obviously, we're just going to leave that without a mechanical drive, so don't need it. I'm going to start this install, and when it's right at the end, I'll come back. We'll just confirm that in Windows that everything is there that needs to be there for our new parts. I just want to get this started real quick. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to accept the license terms. Next. Custom, there's our unallocated one terabyte NVMe, just hit next. It'll start copying the files over and the Windows install. It shouldn't take too long, five, six, seven minutes at, at the most. So I'm going to let this get almost to the end, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, just finished installing Windows 10. Went pretty quick, so I just want to wrap it up here. I'm going to open up my task manager real quick. Gonna click on performance, gonna go to memory. There's our 16 gigs of 2666 memory. We're good there. And then I'll just pop open the file explorer. It's already way faster computer. Uh, there's our one terabyte NVMe drive, so we're good to go. Um, I have to get all the drivers, like I said, updates and the Acer Nitro stuff from Acer's website, which is no big deal. But now we got the 20H2 edition on here. We'll finish it up from there. So I appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, give me a like. If you loved it, loved it, give me a sub. A sub, I would appreciate that. Sorry, I'm just thinking about something else. Um, I appreciate you all watching. Have a great day.